Now let's pause here. Most people think magma is like a big pool sitting under a volcano. You imagine it as a fiery lake waiting to burst through the surface. And yes, some magma chambers look like that. But in reality, the Earth is more complicated. Sometimes magma doesn't sit still. It moves. It flows through cracks, weaknesses, and layers in the crust. It can travel like a slow, glowing river for miles. And in Alaska, scientists realized they weren't looking at a simple pool. They were looking at a path. To test this idea, they compared the seismic data with other tools. Satellites that tracked tiny rises and falls of the land showed slight bulges near Denali, as if the ground was being pushed up from below. Heat sensors picked up small but unusual hotspots near the surface. All the signs pointed to the same thing. Magma was moving, and it wasn't just local. At first, this raised more questions than answers. How far south did the path go? Was it connected to volcanoes in Canada, or the Pacific Northwest? Or was it just a short artery feeding the land near Denali? The more they studied, the stranger it got. The signals didn't just stop at Alaska's border. They seemed to keep going. And that's when the theory of a hidden artery began to take shape. Here's why this was so stunning. Alaska is already home to dozens of volcanoes. Most of them are in the Aleutian Islands, that long chain of islands stretching toward Russia. These volcanoes erupt often, sometimes with giant explosions that send ash into the sky for miles. But Denali and the interior mountains are not like that. They are not part of the island arc system. So why would magma be moving there? 